A question of character. Kuros is a fearless knight with incredible knees. A stunning pounce. Kuros is a fantastically muscular knight within the kingdom of Elrond. But you will never see the muscles. You will see Nightman. Kuros is shrouded in silver armor from head to knee. Magnificent knees allowing Kuros to hop. Kuros is the most agile knight to ever exist. He ascends amongst tree trunks within the forest of Elrond. Precise hurdles. Kuros has come to this vicious land to rescue the princess. Facing an onslaught of horrible beast. Maliciously persuaded through spell by the terrible wizard of pink, Malkiel. Using black magic. Majestic birds once to be viewed and admired must now be sliced. Provide me your Gems, demon of the sky! Malkil captured the gorgeous damsels as well as the princess. Kuros is the only knight strong enough in body and spirit to face the mad wizard as well as the knight with the best knees. Jump! Kuros wields the blessed bright sword. It is thrice blessed. Kuros fights using the sword swat, a self taught, frantic, but wonderfully elegant battle maneuver. Kuros wants the enemies to. To get away, get away, while depriving them of their life force. Kuros uses the Scoochie Crawl, combining it with a deadly bright sword poke. From a distance, the attacks look awkward and amateurish. Within range, it is lethal. Poke! Kuros is able to withstand 12 blows. Any more will engender a death tantrum, a truly disgusting spasm of maniacal pain united with the rage of sadness. However, Kuros can avert this juvenile display by eating delicious meat. Kuros replenishes his health by munching on fresh tree meat or fresh cavern meat. Meat will cure Kuros's ailments. Kuros navigates the land of Elrond by using the map through the forest, frolicking amongst the trees. Although Kuros will not only frolic amongst the trees, Kuros will frolic inst the trees. The womb of the forest tree will surely test the knees of a hero. Leap! Kuros faces dangerous and icy caverns or fire caverns using his gifted knees. Kuros ascends Castle Ironspire, constructed of the pureness of gold, but hiding evil within its belly. Malkiel. Of course, the thrice blessed bright sword is an invaluable tool, but Kuros will need more. The dagger of throwing. The axe of Akhor. Kuros will throw out tiny daggers or tiny axes for tiny bosses. Kuros uses the cloak of darkness. Now now you see me. Now you wish you never see me. Swat! Kuros is a magician. A night magician. Kuros uses white magic. Magic lacking evil ingredients. Kuros will use these along with many other items to aid in his quest. But most importantly, Kuros needs gems. Rare jewels required for passage. The Guardian forbids otherwise. The Guardian guards, mimicking Kuros with his foul swat. Kuros faces fiendish enemies, such as the Queen Spider, Rock Face, the Skeleton Changeling, the Evil Goblin, and Bullet. Kuros is confident upon his sword and knees. Kuros will rescue the princess and defeat Malkil right after he does his morning stretches. Join me on Cinema Oblivia with James Eldridge and Anthony Abat as we discuss the ninja classic, Revenge of the Ninja, a story about a ninja getting revenge on another ninja on Cinema Oblivia, your home for discussions on disregarded, tossed aside, thrown away, outdated, out of fashion, or otherwise unremembered films. Next episode, Going Down.
Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your inquiry. Like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into Quest. Return every Monday for more. A question of character.